Okay, Uncle Cal Army, we're going to talk about a piece of at-home equipment that can be used as a self-defense tool. This is a grabber. Okay, um, I technically have two of these. Uh, this one was my dad's when, when they first brought him home. Um, and I have another one in the outer area. Um, funny enough, the one out there is the first thing I grab when um, there's a knock on the door. Um, th the thing is, these are very light. Um, so, and we, I'm not a stick fighting expert. Uh, if you want Eskrima techniques, uh, I highly um, recommend Vampire uh, Ninja XCX is a, uh, another chair bound friend. Uh, that does uh, Filipino martial arts, um, but uh, this is this is the first thing I grab these days. I I would move a uh, self defense blade out, out there, but with everything up in the air, I don't want to have to move everything again. And uh, it it doesn't make any sense. So with these, you kind of. You kind of hold it like this, and I'm trying to not to whack my computer here, um, and and use it as a a, fe a fencing type thing. I really wouldn't use it like this; it wouldn't work. Uh, that's for heavier, longer sticks. Uh, but any defensive uh, movements, uh, sure, you can use the the the, uh, the claw hook. But to grab and still hold it defensively, I wouldn't do it. Um, but to hook, sure, poke him in the in the face. The sternum, uh, that's right below your your chest there. Um, poke them right there. Poke them in the philtrum. Whack them upside the head, especially if you go for the temple. Um, And, and really, for anything pistol grip, if you have to use something like this, and this would not be my first choice in stick, I would use an scream stick, or one of my other uh, fighting sticks if I can get to them, but if this is all available, use it kind of like you're fencing, and kind of pop it out there, like a quick jab is a good, good technique. That would really hurt. Okay, so that's how I would use a light, flexible type of stick. Just my two cents. Hope everyone enjoyed. Um. Let me know what you think guys, ask questions, your questions will lead to, vi lead to videos, um, and before anyone asks, uh, yes I, kn I know I won that wallet from uh, Big Red EDC, I told him to um, give it away on um, his uh, live weekend show SKL, if you're not subscribed to Big Red EDC and you're into knives, um, where have you been? Please go sub him. I'll try to leave a link below. Uh, but uh, this week's an early one. It's five o'clock my time. Might be a little bit difficult to, for me to make it. I'm gonna try to try to be on there uh, in the comments and and see who won that. Uh, I was going for the other one he he was giving away, but I'm, I I won the one one that I already had. Um, but um, subscribe to Big Red EDC. Check him out. Tell him I sent you. Uh, thanks, JB. Uh, check out other videos, guys. Give me those views. Views help. Let's monetize Uncle Co. It would really help, or uh, something. Uh, stay tuned. I don't know whether there's going to be a 
birthday special this year. I haven't decided. It's really kind of hard to do that type of video in a small space. And if I do one, it might be the last one uh, due to the coming change. I don't know. Um, links below if you want to help out. Totally optional. Uh, thank you all. Remember, your comments, questions, views, they help me with disabled services. So it, it's important. If I do a birthday special, please just don't leave. My request is to have a, a nice birthday. Questions help me with, with all that because it shows them I'm doing something. That's why I want to do something more with the channel. Okay, uh, let me get that out of the way. I might have to explain that a couple more times just so it reaches everybody. But YouTube helps me with disabled services. Okay. Um, DM me on Instagram at Uncle Cow2 if you need. Use the email address in the description on my channel page if you need. Uh, all that's good stuff. Thank you all. Stay tuned, stay safe, and like I always say, don't do anything I wouldn't do.